Okay, let's get started. Good morning, folks. Welcome to EnvoyCon, North America. So, I'm not Matt Klein. Um, I am another Matt. My name's Matt Turner. I'm a, I'm a software engineer at Tetrate. Uh, I am the event chair for today. That doesn't mean too much. It basically means I stepped in to help out with all the admin. So I managed the CFP and put together today's schedule for you all, which I hope you, you really enjoy. Uh, Matt, Matt was actually going to drop by. He actually can't make it now. Um, so I could give you a bunch of sort of Envoy statistics, like lines of code and number of contributors and all stuff like that. Um, but I, you know, I'm sure Alyssa and the other folks are going to do an amazing job of, of giving you that overview and update. So I'll just sort of cover some housekeeping stuff this morning. Um, I know Alyssa's been practicing her, her best Idaho accent. Um, I think she even has a wig. You know? um, okay, so if you're super new to the Envoy project, you don't really know what it is. Um, Again, the other folks will cover that, but it's super exciting. It's used by all the major service meshes, and it's used in a bunch of other places that you probably don't know about and might not realize, but we're hopefully going to learn about that today, in addition to hearing from some end users and some developers on some, some new features and some new techniques. Uh, so for me, I'll just say welcome. I'm going to keep my this little speech fairly low-key, and I'll just go through some, some housekeeping. Um, so we do have a code of conduct. We do take it seriously. You can follow that QR code if you want to read the small print of it. Um, Please do not touch or hug people without their consent. Please do not misgender people. If you misgender somebody and you are corrected, just apologize, use the correct pronouns, and move on with your day. Um, this hopefully isn't difficult, but we will be, we will be taking it seriously. Uh, there's going to be some captioning and some translations. You can scan that QR code um, and yeah, follow the instructions, put in a couple of details, and you'll get some, some captioning um, with some translation if that would help. Uh, we will be having, yeah, there's, uh, you probably, you, all of you will have, have had coffee on the way in. There's going to be a morning refreshment break, an afternoon refreshment break. There is a fairly long lunch break. Um, and then the CNCF has a co-located co events party, uh, a bit of, bit of free beer um, this evening. I actually don't know where it is yet, but I'll find out before I uh, close this out at 5 p.m. I think it's in this building somewhere. I know we haven't done this one yet, but uh, the call for papers is open for KubeCon Paris, for the co-located events over there. Um, it does take a while to get submissions in, to read them, to review them, to put a schedule together, to work with everybody. This, this pipeline takes a long time, so we are starting already. If anybody's interested in joining us in Paris, um, coming in and saying a few words, then you can start submitting already. And please evangelize this event in person. You know, everybody's around for the rest of the week, meeting a bunch of people. Um, if you could talk on social media, talk to folks, you know, in person. Uh, I know we've got a bunch of Envoy developers and maintainers here in the room, and, and that's great. Um, but if you know more folks who work on the project or who consume it in really advanced ways and just don't tell anybody about it, then please let them know what a great time you had and that they should, you know, check out the sessions on YouTube and, and come along in Paris. Um, I also try to put together a focus on the, on the end users today. I know we've got some here, but, but, but probably not enough. So, you know, Envoy is not just used in service meshes by, um, by cloud providers. If you know of anybody, like I say, who does use it for other things, um, then, you know, please let them know about this event. Uh, thanks to Google Cloud, who are our gold sponsor. This event wouldn't have gone ahead without them. Um, and we've got a few Googlers speaking today. We're actually inundated with submissions, so everybody had to leave on the bench, like, sorry. Um, that's basically just a, a talk cap, but thanks for everybody's support all the way through the process. Um, thank you to the program committee members, I guess all of whom are here. It's, it's a pretty long and pretty thankless task to, to you know, read those submissions carefully and do all those reviews and give feedback. Uh, but the feedback was you know, invaluable in putting the schedule together. Um, and I don't think they're here, but thanks to the, the CNCF, who've actually helped with all the admin of this, um, especially Alessandra and Lindsay. Okay, so I originally had a nice schedule with a bit of a narrative weave through it. There were just some nice chunks of sort of similar content. We'd move from one topic to another for a few talks. Um, but a few folks have had to drop out and there's been some schedule clashes. So there isn't honestly too much structure left. It's gonna be a bit of a grab bag of, we'll talk about this, this C++ class and then we'll talk about this end user experience. But it'll keep everybody on your toes. Um, we do have a list up first doing like a general overview of the main proxy project. Uh, and then I think you're maybe going to double click on mo mobile, right? Which is uh, sort of your um, particular favorite. Um, there is one block left, like just after lunch, we're going to get a three talks in a row on Envoy Gateway. 
So there's going to be a project update, there's going to be an end user report, and there's going to be a awesome session on threat modeling uh, and a security evaluation of, of Envoy Gateway and the Gateway API. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I got I'm super ill on the flight yesterday. I, uh, I may go home after this, but I wanted to say hi. Um, we'll not share this mic, by the way. This is mine. Um, so yeah, anybody who is speaking, we have the Wonderpal mic that you'll be wearing. Please see AV. Um, just before your session, in the break before your session to get mic'd up. Uh, have your laptop ready to go, you can plug it in here. Um, time permitting in each session, if the speakers are up for it, we can take uh, questions. The easiest way is to come and stand up with the question mic to make sure you can be heard and make sure you get on the recording. That's actually quite important. So I guess form an orderly line or, or raise your hand, but then please use that mic to, because uh, it's not just about the speaker hearing you right, it's about the recording picking it up. Um, and I think that's all the, the admin I have. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to our first speaker, Alice Welk. Thanks, everyone.